everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. Today I'm gonna to touch on my experience at auditioning for the Royal Academy of Music. Um, so in December, I went, I think it was beginning of December, I went to the open evening, I think it was like a Monday night or something, and we went into the main Duke's Hall, uh, which is like the main hall, which has got this beautiful organ at the back, a wonderful stage, um, and all the students the whole year were there and they were practicing their, their Christmas concert. Uh, and I think they'd just done a, a show with Disney as well then. Um, I think it was the night before they'd done their show with Disney. Um, and we went in and they were singing all their Christmas songs and it sounded absolutely lovely. And then we got split into two groups and we went, I think I went off to dance first. Did I? No, I went to the singing first. There were two people singing, a girl and, no, two guy, girls singing and one guy singing. And I just remember the di one of the directors of the course, Matt Ryan, he was teaching them like acting through song. And it was so interesting watching him, him work. So tell me, tell me how you feel. And this is while she was singing. It was really, really cool to see. Um, and I was so excited and really hoping that he was gonna be at my audition. Because I just wanted to work with him, I just want, I wanted to learn from him. I learnt so much at the open evening as it was. Um, so that was really, really lovely to watch. And then we went off and watched the dance, co dance course. We went and watched the dance class. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember the, the guy's name. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. help if I was looking at the right thing <laughs> doesn't even say Carl Stevens that's who it was um so he was the teacher um teaching the class <laughs> the dance class and they did supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Mary Poppins and it was really really cool how and I think he was actually the choreographer on Mary Poppins so that was really lovely to watch him work with all the students and they did partner work and all that sort of stuff so that was really cool um, and then after that we just went for a chat and we asked questions and all them kinds of things and I just knew from then I was like yes I have to audition here so two weeks later I think it was we got our I got well I got my audition date and I think I was about half past one in the afternoon um, and I think it was like a Wednesday or something and I went into the like the practice room and opposite is the audition room and you can hear them singing in there it was lovely to hear but at the same time it was quite intimidating to hear as well because you're hearing everybody else that's like fighting for the same place as you. It was really fun, I got to sit there and speak to a couple of the students and ask them questions and just see sort of like their like experience and what they can offer us as in like support before the audition. And then I met a few people from drama school, uh, some people coming from university. Um, there was an international student there as well. Um, I think he was from like Brazil or something, which was really cool. And um, I, th I think he was in just before me. Um, so I went in and I think it was about 10, 15 minutes, this audition. Um, I went in and they said, hello, how are you? Uh, and just before I got told that the guy that was playing the piano um, was the musical director for the Into, Into the Woods film. And I think they said Sweeney Todd film, I think, but correct me if I'm wrong. So that was quite intimidating. But at the same time, I've always been told to always be nice to the pianist because you just never, ever know who they are. Um, and you never know if they're going to be playing the piano for any of your auditions. And if you're rude and nasty and horrible, they're not going to play your song right. So just always be nice. So I went in, there was the guy on the piano, there was Matt Ryan, there was the director of the course, and then a lady doing like admin things and she was sitting on the computer. Um, I say, um, so much. And I said this in yesterday's video and I can't get over saying, and, um, I go in. And they make me sing my first song. My brother lived in San Francisco from Elegies. And I'd previously sung that um, in a show for Scott Allen. And it was called, what was it called? S 
Sunday night's New Voices and it was live at the Zadell and there was me and a few other girls and that's another story time video and they said oh that was beautiful that was lovely and they never made me sing it again um but they did halfway through my song Matt Ryan brought a chair up to me halfway through, halfway through the song and he made me sit down and sort of like made me sing into their eyes um which I've never ever done before but it makes you real like it makes you feel like you're actually speaking to someone interacting with them and you feel like that they're asking you questions in between each sentence you're singing if that makes any sense so that was really really interesting and and since then I've really worked on singing to someone instead of singing at someone and then they got me to sing my second song which was I Can Cook Too but the encore version from On The Town and they actually made me sing that twice actually three times they made me sing that so the first time I sang it, and I have this habit of um, overacting a song. Um, so I overacted it with movements and everything <laughs> and had to sing it again. And they just said, look, completely strip it back, make her really gutsy and make her really like powerful and dominating. And because that's how, how she is, she's quite a dominating character. Um, so I did and I stripped it back and I learned so much from just doing that. I learned a lot more about the character. Um, and also since that audition, I've learned to put a little bit of myself in each character I play because then I am able to connect with that character a lot more and a lot better. I did have a third song prepared, which is beautiful from It Should Have Been You. And it was only on Broadway for, for maybe a year, maybe not even that, I'm not sure. Um, but that's a really stunning song. Um, but they never made me sing it this time. So once I'd done that, I, they then asked me to do my monologue. I went for something completely different. I went for a monologue from a film, um, which is based on, on a book. But I actually use a monologue from the film Stardust. And it's one of my favourite films. And it's basically when the star is telling... Tristan how much she loves him and it's a trusty monologue I have used forever from when I auditioned for Masters Performing Arts College I used it then and then I thought I'd use it now because I know I can play that character and I know I can connect to that monologue I did that and they liked it they liked it a lot um, and that that was it I think I only did that once possibly twice and they probably told me to stop overacting it <laughs> After that, they made me do some script work. And I know I need to really work on, on my um, sight reading. I know I need, need, I need to speak up. I need to work on my speech. I know I nearly, nearly, I keep saying nearly. I know I really need to work on my sight reading. Um, that's what I learned from that audition, definitely. After that, Daniel took me to the piano and he made me just do some scales to see how high I can go, all them types of things. And then they made me do the scatting version that I'd worked on uh, and they seemed to like it. And then they basically just said, that's it. We'll get back to you in two weeks. And them two weeks were the worst two weeks of my life because I just constantly, every single day, constantly looking at my emails, trying to make sure that I haven't missed it. Um, and I, I was really, really nervous. But then two weeks later, I got my email saying they want to see me again. So I got a recall. And my recall was in April of this year. So that was December. That was four months that I had to wait to do my call back. <sighs> again, <coughs> excuse me, that was the worst four months of my life because you're waiting and waiting and working on the same material that you've been working on for your original audition. But, and at first I was a bit like, oh gosh, are there other bigger girls that they prefer and they just want to see me again just in case? Or do they really like me and they just want to see me just again in case? Or did, were they not 100% sure on me and I really have to prove myself? And all I kept reminding myself is I overacted in everything originally, except um, my brother lived in San Francisco. I never overacted that. But I Can Cook Too, I overacted. And my monologue, I definitely overacted. 
So I made sure that that was something that I worked on. I went for my audition. I was the first one in, it was 10 o'clock in the morning or something. And I went in, I got about 20 minutes. And actually before my audition, I sat there and I spoke to two, uh, another two students that I'd never met before. And it was really nice to get other people's perspectives on it, what their experience was um, of the audition process and all different types of things to do with the course and everything. And then just before I went in, about 10, 15 minutes before I went in, Daniel, the course director, he actually came into the room and he said, hi, how are you? It was really lovely to see you again. And that really calmed me down. My second audition, I was extremely nervous because you just don't know what they're looking for. So um, they called me in, they said, hello, and how are you? You know, normal chit chat, just to make you feel calm. And it was the same guy on the piano. And I must find out what his name is. I've completely forgotten and I can't find it in any of like the paperwork. Um, so I will find out and I'll let you know in another video who that was. They made me feel very calm and relaxed and they got me to sing My Brother Lived in San Francisco again. And they only made me sing it once this time, which was really nice. And then they got me to sing I Can Cook Too. And again, I only sang it once which was lovely. Then they got me to sing my third song, which I have never, ever, ever sung with the piano before. So I went over to the, to the guy on the piano. I said, would you mind just playing the entrance and the end of the song for me? Just so I knew exactly what I was looking for. Because the, the middle bit is the same, but obviously from practicing with the CD to then practicing with the pianist version, it is slightly different. So. I got him to play them for me and then I went in and sang the song and they only made me sing it once which was really nice so all my songs I sang once <coughs> it was my monologue <clears throat> they made me do my monologue once then they made me do it again then they made me do it completely wrong they basically said to me right we want you to do a monologue but base it completely make it up just make it up on the spot we want you to base it on what you have just said and what your monologue is about, but completely change it. And at first you're like, oh my God, what, what am I going to do? And the adrenaline just kicks in and my heart was pounding and I just, I just went for it. And I, to be honest, I can't even remember what I said. <laughs> um, you just sort of do it, I guess, when the adrenaline kicks in. If someone tells you to do it, you go, okay, I'll do it, you know? I did that and basically they said, that's all I want to see. Two weeks later after that, I got an offer. It sobbed my heart out. So yeah, that is my experience <laughs> of my audition for the Academy. If um, you have any suggestions of what you would like to see, then please, please comment down below. Again, please subscribe to this channel. I've got so many more ideas coming. And from Monday again, like I said, I will be vlogging my experience. So if you're really interested in musical theatre and what it's like to be at drama school, then please, please subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. And I will see you in most probably tomorrow's video. <laughs> Take care. Bye.